Yeah, I'm yeah, afraid that's, a, that's too bad. Yeah, I'm afraid know? that sometimes we start off with a kind of a Protestant understanding of theology, yeah. and then tack on several Anabaptist, uh, you know, extras <laughs> oh. on top of it. Mm -hmm. But if we allow it to start with Jesus, um, I'll tell you a quick story. I don't know how much time we have. I'll tell <laughs> sure, you a quick go story. for it. <laughs> I read this in a newspaper. Uh, I was looking for examples and analogies. I love preaching stories, and I, I love this analogy that there was a musicologist in the 1890s that was, this was from New York Times, um, or New York something from the 1890s, and, and he was a musicologist, and he was a follower of Bach, and he was going around to try to find all the old manuscripts of Bach. And so as he was doing that, he was going into all these old castles, and Bach left a diary of explaining some of his works and what he wrote, but we don't have all of them. So he's trying to find all those old ones. Yeah. Well, so the story goes, whether it's true or not, it's a great analogy. So the story goes, he, he wrote in the newspaper, that he was coming upon this one manor in Germany somewhere. And as he was walking into the manor, there was a gardener out in the garden, and he was fixing his tree and putting these wads of paper around the tree and, you know, using it for an anchor for, to keep the tree straight. Mm. And as he walked by, he looked over and noticed that paper, and he looked at the gardener and he said, what is this? He said, oh, this old paper. He said, can I see it? And he looked at it, and it was a music manuscript. And then he looks at it even closer, and he realized it's a manuscript from Johann Sebastian Bach. And so as he looked at it, he said, well, where did you get this? He said, oh, I've been using these for years. There was a, uh, a crate up in the, in the attic of the manor, and I've been using this old paper for years. So the, the, the moral of that story, whether it's true or not, the moral of the story is that Jesus gave us a beautiful symphony to live on this earth, hmm. a way of life, a, a, a church to be able to live out the teachings of Jesus and to affect humanity. He gave us this beautiful symphony to play. But unfortunately, sometimes we turn the Bible into a bunch of waddings of paper, and it doesn't make sense. It's, hmm. it's not this beautiful thing that Jesus wanted to see for humanity. I kind of make that analogy with that. <laughs> hmm. That's really good, though. That's really good. I like that. I like that a lot. Wow. Man. Wow. Well, thank you so much for, <laughs> yeah, for everything. Like, that's, yeah, that's some, that's some really good stuff.